April 25th. What's the significance of April 25th? Why are we here today? Why do we parade? Why do we commemorate this day? April 25th is a day we should never forget. It's a day I believe in the future will always be commemorated, will always be remembered. At that time in China, at that time in China, so many people were afraid of the government. So many people were afraid to speak out for basic human rights. But on April 25th that day, thousands of people walked to the government to stand up for the freedom to believe, for their basic human right to stand up for something they believed in and the basic principle of being able to practice their spiritual belief. But it's hard to imagine what it was like at that time. When we're here in this type of environment in America where we have freedom, it's very hard to imagine what it was like for those practitioners that day, the courage they needed to walk to Jannang Hai that day. They didn't know if they would return. They didn't know if they would be put in prison. They only knew they had to go to stand up for what they believed in. We should always remember the courage of those people that day. For they started something that changed the face of China. Started a movement so China will never be the same. When we come here today, we don't have that type of pressure. We don't know that type of environment. But we always must remember to have respect and really honor what they did. I was here eight years ago. I remember it very clearly, talking about organ harvesting. It was a time when no one knew what it was. And when it was a time that people were saying we were talking tall tales and making up lies. At that time, I spoke about, in China, people being killed for their organs and it being sold on the black market. How far have we come over these past eight years? What has changed? So much has changed. This year alone, China's own Vice Minister of Health, Wang Jiefu, admits that over the past 10 years, China's organ transplant system has been corrupt, it's been disgusting, it's been filthy. China's own people in their own Ministry of Health admit that the past 10 years, people have been killed unjustly for their organs. And recently, he also admitted that the military hospitals in China have been playing a great role in this. What's the significance of that? The significance is that those military hospitals have access to prisons and forced labor camps like no other hospitals in China have. It implicates that they've been using prisoners of conscience and innocent people over the past 10 years, killing them for their organs unjustly without a trial. Because in China, the communist government doesn't value human life, doesn't value their freedom to believe, doesn't value the very basic, simple principles of humanity. So they kill people unjustly, and they profit off of it, and they do it without recourse. But times are changing. The world is waking up. This year we have a movie that has gained international recognition and has just been awarded the Peabody Humanitarian Reward. It is a movie that exposes what's going on in China, the killing of innocent Falun Gong practitioners, of innocent people in Chinese forced labor camps, innocent people, prisoners of conscience, being killed in the thousands for their organs. In the thousands, every year. And there's not been one shred of evidence that this has stopped. No matter what their officials say, it is only words, no actions. 
They have not let anybody in to China to look to see has this stopped. They have not provided one shred of evidence that this is not occurring today. Doctors Against Forced Organ Harvesting is an international group of doctors around the world that will not stop until this atrocity comes to an end. I said eight years ago that our organization will not stop until justice comes in China, and I still stand by that word today. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you for honoring the people in Jiangnan High for what they did.